So the main purpose of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is to regulate blood pressure. Now, we need to do that in a, a way that uh, it, if we have a low blood pressure, we need to increase it as we see in this diagram. So I'm, now I'm going to be talking about what happens if our blood pressure is low. So when our blood pressure is low, our kidneys and specifically the granular cells, they detect that low blood pressure. So the low blood pressure here is seen in that yellow circle and by the red arrow. So now we're going to need to do anything in order to increase that blood pressure. And the kidney does that by producing what's called renin. Renin is important because it converts uh, angiotensinogen in the plasma released by the liver and that is converted into angiotensin 1 in the plasma by renin. Now that we have angiotensin 1, we need to convert that into the main player here which is angiotensin 2. Now in order to convert angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, we need an enzyme called ACE. Now that ACE enzyme is released by the blood vessel endothelium. So our blood vessel, uh, our blood vessel has what what we call endothelium, which is the inner lining of the blood vessel, and that releases ACE. So once ACE is released, converting angiotensin one into angiotensin two, now we will see the changes in order to increase blood pressure. Let's walk through these one by one. So now when angiotensin two is increased, our arterioles will vasoconstrict. Now. When the arterioles vasoconstrict, that increases blood pressure. Also, on the cardiovascular control center in the medulla oblongata in our brain, the cardiovascular response will increase, therefore increasing cardiac output and also increasing anything uh, in order to raise that blood pressure. It could also be the heart rate and uh, the contractions of the heart. Now, let's look at the hypothalamus. So on the level of the hypothalamus, what does angiotensin II do? It increases vasopressin, so vasopressin is in increased from the hypothalamus, and that increases the volume and maintains osmolarity, increases thirst, so we drink more. When we drink more, our volume increases, as you can imagine, and now we have higher blood pressure. Uh, on the adrenal cortex, what does angiotensin II do? Angiotensin II increases aldosterone release from the adrenal cortex. Uh, and th that, that's why we call the system the renin angiotensin aldosterone system because this is very very important and aldosterone increases sodium reabsorption which increases volume and maintains osmolarity and that plays a big role in our kidneys and that uh, therefore increases blood pressure so in summary uh, what we can say is when we have low blood pressure we need to increase renin renin released from the kidneys the renin will convert angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1 angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 using ACE enzyme, uh, which is released by the blood vessel, blood vessel endothelium, endothelium, and that uh, will take us into the effects which uh, uh, eventually increases blood pressure.